So um, how do you detect more polyps? Uh, and it's, it really focuses on the basics. So why are we doing it? We're doing it to make sure patients haven't got cancer, prevent cancer by removing polyps. If they've got it, diagnose it. Make sure uh, that there are some symptoms investigated if the patient's got symptoms and sometimes to reassess known disease. Um, so if you are a eye detector of adenomas, uh, I'll remove this on the screen, then your patients do not get uh, post-colonoscopy colorectal cancer as much as uh, somebody who is a low detector uh, of adenomas. And that's also true of advanced stage colorectal cancer, and that's true of fatal colorectal cancer. We demonstrated the flexures. We demonstrated the retroflexion in the right colon and the rectum. We demonstrated how, actually, um, to examine the splenic flexure using uh, a combination of anticlockwise torque, uh, the wheels and the small wheel. And we use assistance either of artificial intelligence or um, your nurses to pick up polyps, and we didn't really need any. Um, we didn't really need any uh, help in there in this finding polyps, but I think we could. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. And then um, you need to, uh, of course, know what pathology looks like. I think if we don't know what it looks like, uh, and that was in the next talk that we'll have later on today, then how can you reliably be expected to detect it? How can you detect a serrated polyp if you never saw one? How can you detect a flat, non-granular lesion if you never saw one? And if you're not looking. Um, and be aware that, of course, if you have one non-granular polyp, one serrated polyp, there's potentially more available for you to find. And then the technologies, and maybe it's interesting to mention two of them, the cuff and the cap, as the last part of this talk, so we'll jump to that. Um, so I think... Um, Endocuff uh, is one of them, endocuff vision, and the cap is the other one. Um, both of them are backed up by significant evidence. Um, and I think our message to you uh, in 2024 is you should be using something on the tip of the endoscope for diagnostic procedures. 